Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of PCs and EVs. In today's video we're going to be testing the MSI 4090 Gaming Trio versus the EVGA RTX 3090 for the Win 3 and we're going to see how much uplift there actually is from jumping from a 3090 to a 4090. Now I do have a relatively limited testing suite. Uh, we're going to be testing it in 3D Mark Time Spy, Time Spy Extreme, and 3D Mark Port Royal as well. Um, as for a test system itself, we're running a 7950X on an X670E ASRock Pro RS motherboard with 32 gigs of DDR5 6000 mega transfers per second. We do have a 1600 watt EVGA T2 power supply and a Corsair H170i Elite LCD liquid cooler all housed inside this nice massive uh, Corsair 7000X uh, case. As for testing parameters, we're going to be testing the 4090 and 3090 both at stock and we're going to be doing a little bit of light overclocking on the 4090 just to see uh, how much farther it gets. Um, from I've been able to do some of the testing so far and you seem to get a couple of percent, nothing too major, that's for sure. Now obviously we are also going to be uh, testing the ASUS TUF 4090 in the future. I'm going to see if I can get some graphs. Um, made for that testing so that you guys can see it a little bit better. But for this one, it's just going to be mostly voiceovers um, with images of the graphics cards. All right, guys, just completed the testing of the MSI Gaming Trio. It is a very, very quiet card and doesn't seem to go above about 60 to 63-ish degrees uh, Celsius. Um, I will say the card itself in time is about 64% faster than the 3090. We were seeing scores. Uh, let me double check and pull up my notes. Man, what a chonky graphics card. Uh, very glad to see that it ran very cool and quiet. I did try testing with the Asus Tough adapter. It does not unlock any extra power limit or anything. This card is by default limited to 107% max power. Uh, out of the box, it'll be at 100% though. Uh, as far as overall score on the on the graphics card in Time Spy, we were seeing on average about 28,395 points in Time Spy. And then with the light overclock, we were seeing about 28,425. So we were only getting an extra 30 to 40 points uh, overall in Time Spy by overclocking. As far as the 3090, the card that we tested it against, it was seeing an average of about 19,524 in time spy. So we were seeing about a 9,000 to 10,000 point uplift just by upgrading the graphics card. Obviously the CPU score stayed within about 100 to 100 and yeah, no, stayed within 100 points between the two GPUs themselves. Um, and then as far as graphics score, we saw an uplift from about 20,500 to about 33,500. And then as far as in Time Spy Extreme, we were getting a stock result of about 19,300 uh, for the RTX 4090 gaming trio, and then about 19,600 when overclocked. So we did actually see some of an uplift in this title with overclocking, or rather in this testing. And then as far as the 3090, we were seeing a score right around 10,500. So we were still noticing about an 80% uplift uh, jumping, only changing the uh, graphics card that is. Obviously, I do want to touch on the overall time spy score because that was the graphics score. And in the time spy extreme overall score, we were going from like a 10,750 or so up to about an 18,000 for stock and then an 18,280 or so uh, for overclocked results. And then as far as the gap between the two cards in Port Royal, for Port Royal, the 4090 got a 25,600 when stock and a 26,070 when overclocked and the 3090 got a 13,650 when stock. Now, like I said, in the future, we're going to be testing the Asus Tough 4090. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. But this graphics card ran cooler and quieter than last generation's EVGA RTX 3090 for the Win 3. And if you guys are 
looking into getting a new graphics card, honestly, the Gaming Trio seems to be a good place to start.